Have you ever come across a cart ride game on Roblox? This unique genre is iconic, yet despised by the Roblox community. Join me as I explore the first ever cart ride game, the reasons behind its polarizing reputation, the devastating disappearance of its creator, and how the genre eventually turned into a quick way to earn Robux. Today, we will answer all of these intriguing questions. Let's take a leap back in time, two years after Roblox release when it was still unknown. In the year 2008, a game named Cart Ride Into Santa was introduced to the Roblox platform by Danny D1999. This game quickly gained popularity, the captivating cart ride game genre. Fast forward to 2013, unfortunately, this marked the decline for the genre. One of the reasons behind this upsetting news was the issue of broken carts within these games. This was a crucial feature as this was the main part of the game. Since many developers made use of the same free models or kits, this problem became widespread and affected the overall player experience negatively. As time progressed, like many early Roblox players, the original creator gradually moved on from the platform, although occasionally still logging in. One of the most controversial aspects of cart ride games revolves around the ability for players who successfully complete the ride to engage in grief trolling, disrupting the experiences of others. This feature has faced substantial criticism, contributing to the genre's polarizing reputation. It is understandable why cart ride games may gradually fade from the spotlight. As it stands, the cart ride game genre may not enjoy the same level of popularity it once did. However, there is still a possibility for it to take the spotlight, as especially through the efforts of YouTubers who create games or create videos centered around this theme. Despite its decline, the genre may continue to hold appeal for a specific audience.